what is up guys, Jake on Metallic Design here. I uh, hope that most of you came over from my old channel. I know I've hit about 250 subscribers, which is uh, it's pretty overwhelming just because I know all my subs weren't active, like I said. But uh, 250, that's a bit, that's like a lot more than I thought I was going to get. So thanks for that. And pretty much what I'm going to be doing on this channel, uh, like until I get partnership again, is I'm going to be uploading a lot of content. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to peer off one. Yeah, so um, what I'm going to be doing is uploading a lot of videos, probably two to three videos a day, depending on where you live. Uh, for me, it'll be two times a day. I'm uploading it like just when I wake up and like around this time, pretty much. So what I'm going to be doing is uh, tutorials, speed arts, and giveaways and stuff like that, because to get partnership, you need to meet requirements, which is usually about 1,000 views a day. Um, so hopefully... I can get that and then get partnership and then everything will be back to normal uh, quanti for now it's going to be quantity over quality but when I get back to where I was it'll be quality over quantity just because I do really uh, want to get partnership again sorry if that sounds shit but uh, it's, once you have partnership and you go back it's it's fucking horrible so what I'm going to be doing today is uh, how much time did I waste yep alright so I got a request pretty much on my previous upload on my triangle background. I'll try and get this for you guys if I can find it. Um, well, I can't even find it. Um, uh -uh. Alright, I'll just go on the banner. It wasn't really a request, but someone asked me how to do it. So here's the banner pretty much that I saved. And what you've got here is a line a line under that and just a uh, backing shadow just to make it look like it's kind of pushed out of the background uh, if you guys understand what I mean by that if not sorry but just follow along with the tutorial hopefully <laughs> sorry about that hopefully you guys get what I'm talking about in the end uh, if you already know what I'm talking about thank god but there will be a lot of tutorials coming uh, probably how to make nice text again even though I've done that on my old channel I have a new technique now which I reckon is a lot better and I'm also going to be doing a background tutorial series with my new style um, I haven't seen many people do it the way I do it or um, style anyway but I'm going to be doing that for you guys like I said before I'm going to go file new and it doesn't really what size you make it it doesn't really matter what size you make it sorry just because once you know how to do it and once you got the technique, you'll be able to do it at any uh, size. So I'm just going to go 250 by uh, probably 150. Just so it's kind of rectangle there. And then I just right click on the screen and then go fit on screen just so it uh, gives me a full on view. Now what we're going to do is come over to the color picker and then just go for a dark grey. Not too dark, just probably about... The codec is 3E, 3E, 3E. So you're just going to uh, select that and then fill the background if that wants to happen. Uh -huh. Alright, what I did there was this is a shortcut that I do. You hold down Alt and then hit Backspace. Just fills that. You can do it the other way Control and Backspace, and it does it with the secondary color. But Alt and Backspace fills the background. So now what I'm going to do is make a new layer, come over to where the brush tool is and you hold on it and it comes up with a couple different uh, ideas, or not ideas sorry, a couple different selections you can do so click on the pencil tool, I'm going to come over to the color picker again and next to where you can switch between the two there's a black and a white box, boxes and click on that, puts it back to default, um, select the white as the foreground and you're just going to hold shift, click on the far left hand side, hold and drag. So you can see there it's just a straight white line. Uh, like I said, hold shift, click, drag and slide across. Now what I'm going to do is control J to duplicate the layer. And I'm just going to click the move tool up on the far left here. And if you don't have the transform tools around here, up the top here it says show transform tools. Click on that, it really does help a lot. So I'm just going to 
go, come over to my keyboard and press down on the arrow key. So I'll just put it one spot down. And now what I'm going to do is, there's uh, different ways to do this, but this is probably just the easiest way I find, or the easiest way to show people. So double click on the layer, the bottom layer, sorry, and then go to color overlay. And yeah, click on color overlay, click on the red, go to black. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to make a new layer under that black line layer. And then just hold down shift and select the bottom layer. Click on the top layer, right click, merge layers. So now you've got a white line and a black line. So the next thing I'm going to do is merge these layers by doing the same thing. Clicking on the top layer, holding shift, clicking on the bottom layer, right click, merge layers. Sorry if that's too fast, but most people know how to do that, and if you didn't get it, just go back and watch it again. So the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate that again. So I'm going to go Control J, and now what I'm going to do is go Edit, Transform, Vertical. And now you're going to hold Shift, click on that, and drag it down. So that's about right width there, just so you can fit text inside. And then um, what I'm going to do next is go to the I don't even know what that's called I forget sorry but where it says normal you go you change it to soft light and you do the same with the second one so changing both to soft light put the opacity to about 50 alright now I'm going to merge these two so I'm just going to do what I've done before merge them together I'm just going to go to soft light now I'm going to come over to the eraser tool and this depends on the size of the canvas but with this I probably think 25 is going to be alright maybe even a bit bigger, yeah I'll go 75 just so it erases the edges a bit, 50 actually well alright so I'm just going to click on the bottom here just line it up so it's right in the middle of the edges of the lines just hold shift and drag up and why isn't that doing anything Alright, there we go. Hold shift, drag down, drag up. So I'm going to do that again. Click on the top, hold shift, drag down, drag up. So as you can see there, that's not really much going on right now, but this is where everything comes into play pretty much. So I'm going to make a new layer under those two lines, and I'm going to select the black. Come over to your rectangular marquee tool, and you're just going to outline pretty much that whole thing. See, so, uh, now what we're going to do is go select, inverse. And what that does now is it just gives us that whole part to work with. So what I'm going to do is come over to the brush tool. And I'm going to select, same thing as before, you do the size depending on the scale of the piece. So this is probably going to go good with about 125. And I'm just going to click on the middle here. just there so that seems alright now what I'm going to do is stretch that out a bit so I'm going to uh, click on the move tool hold down shift and alt go on the far left hand side and just drag it drag it out now it's not letting me go that far so I'm just gonna zoom out a bit do it again alright so there we go now what I'm going to do is erase pretty much just the edges of that. So as you can see there's some gradient that's just going over the part and it's just wrecking the piece a bit. So I'm just going to do that, just erase these edges here. Oh sorry before, um, well, yeah um, with the brush what you're going to want to do is, I push, uh, the eraser sorry I should have explained this at the start, you go size 50, hardness 0. Or not, it doesn't matter about the size, but hardness has to be on zero, and everything pretty much the same. But I really should have explained that at the start, so sorry about that. But I'm not going to start the tutorial again. It's been gone for like ten minutes. So you're going to want to change the blending mode. That's what it's called, blending mode. To so that, uh, you're going to go soft light and change it to about fifty percent, probably even seventy-five, and maybe even put down the opacity of lines again. Um, yeah, I'll go. I'll go fifty. 75. So that seems alright there. Uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, thank God. But once you add a little bit of textures and stuff to the background, 
that really does look nice and you can muck around with the opacities and stuff if you want um, a little bit of variation to your piece as well so that looks nice there with the uh, drop shadow kind of being just a bit um, less strength so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial there will be a lot more coming like I said the background tutorials the text tutorials um, not much Cinema 4D stuff since I don't do that sorry I'll be showing you guys more Photoshop skills like this but if you like the video uh, please like and um, yeah if you like be subscribed whatever you want to do help me out talk to you guys later thanks Sup.